Going face-to-face -face with death. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check in with Kristen now. And Kristen, we have a great stretch of weather ahead. Oh, we do. And we've made it through most of the bad wind. Some spots still dealing with the wind, but northern Utah is going to have some beautiful weather to look forward to. Now, I did want to talk about some of the rain and snow that's been hitting central and southern Utah. Southern Utah especially has been really getting it. Uh, Glen Canyon over near Lake Powell, almost three-quarters of an inch of rain there. And St. George picking up over three-quarters of an inch of rain. Escalante at an inch and almost three-quarters. So, again, it's been a mixed bag of rain, and then you get into the higher elevations, and it changes to snow. And then in Boulder, you can see a foot there. Canyonlands picked up three inches. That's going to be beautiful. And Cedar City picking up half an inch, but also picking up some rain, too. So we still have these showers moving from east to west. It's mostly cloudy out there, and we're going to continue to see showers roll in across this area of southern Utah through tonight and tomorrow. Moab still seeing a little bit of rain, trying to pick up a little bit more rain over in the St. George area. Same thing in Kane County. So Storm Zone shows us pushing in from east to west, mostly cloudy skies across central and southern Utah. We'll have that potential for a few more snow showers in our southern mountains, maybe another little isolated shower of rain north of St. George. George, Kane County, trying to get a little bit more rain as well down into the southeast corner too. And then we get one more little push late Sunday into Monday. But by Monday, we're back to sunshine for just about everyone. And we all get to look forward to some really beautiful weather. High pressure to our north. This is the low that's still turning to our south. That hasn't moved a whole lot, but has moved enough to relax winds for most of us. It will keep those winds going uh, for sections of the Wasatch Front, Weber, Davis County, where we could still see gusts tonight in excess of 50 miles an hour, mainly 30 35 to 45, but you can see overnight uh, it picking up on some 50 mile an hour gusts there before tomorrow afternoon. It does start to relax. So tomorrow's forecast, we have 60 in Salt Lake, 62 in St. George, 42 in Evanston, St. George. You're in the low to mid 70s next week. Some really beautiful weather. And for the Wasatch Front, we'll have temperatures topping out in the mid 60s for a good portion of next week. So really beautiful stuff. Then we have that rain chance moving back in next weekend, a potential storm that could bring in rain and maybe even some valley snow by Thursday. So All right. looking good for now. Yeah, I was going to say, not too bad of a week. Mm -mm. All right, you might have to rest that voice. And yeah. Debbie might be doing the weather. Oh, it's, it's, it's been Debbie a while. <laughs> okay. okay, it's been a while. I'll see what I can Thanks, do. Kristen. Thanks, Kristen. Well, we are now just two days away from the...